Your body is a temple. To be healthy, the body has to keep a huge number of things in perfect balance. Welcome to the world of homeostasis, which is all about staying the same, so as worlds go, it's quite predictable, ideally. Okay, so what needs to be balanced? Let's have some specifics. The key things are water content, iron content, body temperature and blood glucose concentration. Later, we'll look at what can happen when the body's regulatory functions go wrong and what to do to put things right. But first, let's look at getting rid of waste. Unlike your bedroom or my house, the body cannot tolerate a build-up of waste. The concentration of waste products could affect chemical reactions and damage cells. So what things do we need to remove? Well, carbon dioxide for one. It's a waste product of respiration. That's the chemical reaction in cells that releases energy. Most carbon dioxide is carried to the lungs dissolved in the blood and leaves the body when we breathe out. <sighs> Water is another thing we need to control. Water gets into your body through food and drink. Aerobic respiration in cells produces water too. Too much or too little water in our body cells will damage them. Although I think this fella's broken anyway. We all know what happens when we drink a lot. We dash off to the toilet. But the way to say this in the exam is, the kidneys respond to higher levels of water in the blood plasma by producing a larger volume of urine, which is also more dilute. Yes, the kidneys. Very important organs, those. What do they do? They filter out small molecules from the blood. Water, salts, glucose and urea. They take everything out. But then they put some of it back. They put back all the glucose. And they reabsorb as much water and salt as is needed. That leaves urea. Some water and some salt as waste. Which is now called urine. Not because we don't like it. That's just its name. Urine is stored temporarily in the bladder, ready to make you panic when you're stuck on the bus. Dilute urine means the kidneys have got rid of a lot of excess water. Dark concentrated urine means the water level in the blood plasma is low, so that the kidneys have not filtered much of it out. Urine concentration changes depending on external temperature, exercise levels and the intake of fluids and salt. So now you know how to achieve exciting variations in urine colour. You also lose water when you breathe out and in your faeces. But there is another mechanism for removing water from the body. That most elegant of body functions. It is, of course, sweating. That's why we need to drink more on a hot day. Sweating has another function, cooling us down. The thermal regulatory centre in the brain controls our body temperature. This centre can detect the temperature of blood flowing through the brain and also receives impulses from temperature receptors in the skin which help it keep body temperature at around a constant 37 degrees Celsius. Pretty impressive. But why bother? Temperature extremes are very dangerous. Really high temperatures can cause heat stroke and dehydration, and if untreated, even death. At over extreme, very cold temperatures can cause hypothermia, which can also lead to death if not treated. It's just death everywhere you look! Death! When your body gets very cold, it's your hands and feet that feel it first. That's because the body works to maintain its core temperature. Ooh, I better change the subject from freezing. The body cells need a constant supply of energy. This comes from glucose carried around the body dissolved in blood plasma. Blood glucose concentration is very important and it must be kept within narrow limits, not too high, not too low, round about there. Pancreas monitors and controls glucose levels. The pancreas produces a hormone called insulin. Insulin causes glucose to move from the blood into the cells. When blood glucose is too high, more insulin is released. This means more glucose moves into cells, reducing the blood glucose level. When blood glucose is too low, less insulin is released. Less glucose moves into the cells, more stays in the blood. This raises the blood glucose level. Simple, but effective, unless you're diabetic. People who suffer from diabetes cannot control their blood glucose level. This is a very dangerous situation and can be fatal. Diabetes comes in two variations, called surprisingly type 1 and type 2. In type 1, 
the body does not produce enough insulin. Diabetics must pay careful attention to the diet and must regularly inject themselves with insulin. Type 2 is often the result of a poor diet and obesity. It is usually controlled by diet and exercise, which is also how you avoid it in the first place. The irony. So, to recap, water balance, body temperature, salt and glucose levels are all critical to life. Homeostasis means controlling these to maintain a constant internal environment.